can ChatGPT do your electronics homework? With all the talk about ChatGPT passing written exams and doing math and writing code, I was curious to see how it does in the physical sciences, particularly when diagrams are involved. Since, at least as of when I'm making this video, the version available for free to the public cannot handle images as inputs or outputs. However, it can draw ASCII art, including circuit diagrams. So in this video, I'll explore how it does both generating and analyzing these diagrams. I have a personal interest in this since I have experienced teaching electronics at the college level. And if you check out the rest of my YouTube channel, I have a bunch of electronics and Arduino tutorials. So let's dive right into it. I asked ChatGPT if it can draw circuit diagrams using ASCII text. It replied explaining that yes, it can. And it even gave me an example of a simple diagram with a battery connected to a resistor and an LED. I then asked it to draw a slightly more complicated diagram with a battery and four parallel branches, each branch containing a 220 ohm resistor and an LED in series. It spit out something that at first glance might look correct. You look at this and say, oh look, there's four branches, each one has a resistor and an LED in series. But if you take a moment to analyze this, you will see that it is not actually drawing what I asked. This circuit has two different batteries in two isolated circuits that are not connected to each other, and it's not clear what this kind of extra wire dangling off the battery here is. And again, these LED branches are not actually connected back to the negative end of the battery. So as has been shown with a lot of other stuff, sometimes ChatGPT is very good at spitting out information that looks convincing or looks correct at first glance. But then once you actually look at the details, you will realize it is wrong. I have also discovered that when it is wrong, it is still very confident that it is right. So I tried to keep going and teach ChatGPT that this was wrong and to demonstrate how to properly draw these circuit diagrams. So here I didn't really give it any feedback. I just told it that diagram is wrong. It apologized for the error in the previous diagram and then spit out something totally crazy. Not even really sure what this is. So I kept going and decided, okay, I'm going to try to teach it how to do this properly and see if it can learn from my feedback. So I thought, okay, maybe jumping straight to four parallel branches was too much. Let's scale it back to a simpler circuit again. And I went back to basically what it gave me is the initial demonstration of just a battery, a resistor, and an LED. But you see what it drew here is not a closed circuit. So I tried to correct it on that. And interestingly, instead of actually drawing a complete loop, it added a ground symbol on its own. So again, in circuit diagrams, many times the convention is just to draw a ground symbol instead of looping the circuit back to the negative terminal of the battery. So technically this one here is correct, but it added in all of these extra dashes and dots for some reason. So I asked it, to do that again without all of those symbols and told it they are unnecessary. And here it actually drew a correct and compact diagram based on that feedback. So I then tried to expand again back to this idea of adding parallel branches and asked it to add another branch in parallel to the first one, which as you can see here, it didn't really do. It added more stuff in series. And I tried correcting it without providing really specific feedback, just saying, no, that's wrong. You added it in series, not parallel. It spit out the same thing again. And I just kept telling it it was wrong without giving specific feedback and that wasn't really working. So I decided, okay, after messing up once, I'm going to show it what I actually meant for two branches in parallel to the battery. It thanked me and then I asked it to add a third branch, hoping that maybe it would learn from this diagram and do it correctly on the next step. But you can see that didn't really work either. And now it's not even really drawing things with connections. It just kind of has some of these characters hanging out in space over here. So at this point, I think I got tired and went to bed, but the next day I decided to pick up and see how it does with analyzing diagrams that it's given. So here, rather than asking it to generate a diagram, I gave it a diagram just like you would find in your physics or electronics homework and asked it to solve for a quantity. Now, if you've taken physics, you know this one is just a very simple Ohm's law calculation, V equals IR, you know the voltage, you know the resistance, you can solve for the current. So it spat out a somewhat lengthy explanation, but a good one that includes proper use of Kirchhoff's laws and then arrives at the correct final answer of 0.06 amps or 60 milliamps. I thought, okay, let's scale it up again and see if it can handle something more complicated like two parallel branches. And it still cannot properly identify series and parallel. So a human looking at this can tell that these two resistors are in parallel. And right here in the analysis, it says since the resistors are in series, they must have the same current flowing through them, 
which is true for resistors in series, but these resistors are not in series. So again, it is wrong, but it's very confident that it's right, and it spits out something that can look correct if you're not careful. So I would, wouldn't really go try use this for your electronics homework yet unless you are vetting it yourself. So it gives an incorrect answer in this case. I tried correcting it and saying the resistors are in parallel, not in series, so your calculation is incorrect. Can you fix it? It then went through a very lengthy analysis, but ultimately still arrives at an incorrect answer. So at this point, not handling the difference between series and parallel properly in circuit diagrams, but again, maybe that will be obsolete by the time I publish this video or tomorrow or with the next version that can handle images, who knows. So if you have tried something like this yourself or you have a request for a video, again, I am particularly interested in how ChatGPT handles physical diagrams and hardware, not just code. So I've also started playing around with how it handles Arduino code, but also the related parts list and circuit diagram. Let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of this video. Thank you.